Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 179. That is, what is sprint planning meeting? Let me answer. Before I explain anything about the sprint planning meeting, let me first explain about what exactly is sprint and what exactly happens in an agile scrum methodology following projects, okay? So in agile scrum methodology following projects, the work will happen in the form of iterations, guys, okay? The first iteration, some work will be assigned to this one of the iteration, that is first iteration. After the work is completed in this first iteration, then second iteration will begin, where another set of work will be assigned to the second iteration, and that need to be completed by the end of the second iteration. Then third iteration will start and end, then fourth iteration will start and end, then fifth and so on. The process will continue. Here each and every iteration is known as a sprint. Okay, here each and every iteration is iteration one, which is known as sprint. So some set of work will be completed by the end of the sprint, whereas some set of work will be completed by the end of the sprint. And here each and every iteration is a sprint, guys. And sprint is time bound. Okay, sprint is time bound. It will have a duration like one to four weeks. Sprint will have a duration of one to four weeks. Ideally, guys, most of the projects follow two weeks, that is 10 working days. In the 10 working days, the work that is assigned to the sprint need to be completed by the end of the sprint. But before the work is assigned to the sprint, okay, before the work gets assigned to the sprint, there will be a meeting conducted. Okay, product owner will conduct a meeting with the scrum team and scrum master. Okay, before this work is assigned to the sprint, a meeting will be conducted by the product owner with the scrum team and scrum master to decide on what work need to be assigned to the sprint. And that meeting is called as sprint planning meeting. Okay. That meeting is known as sprint planning meeting. I'll show you more, I'll explain more. Okay, what is sprint planning meeting? A meeting in which the product owner, scrum master and scrum team collaborate and decide which backlog items need to be worked in the next sprint. What work need to be completed in the next sprint, they will decide as part of this meeting. Okay, so as we already know, the product owner will maintain a backlog, okay? Bucket known as product backlog where all the list of requirements will be there in the form of user stories, right? These are all the pending work that is left out and need, need to be completed by the team later. But out of all this work, if, uh, all work cannot be completed in a single sprint, okay? Then there should be a meeting conducted. There should be a meeting conducted to move some sort, some set of work from this product backlog and assign to one of the sprint. What is this meeting known as? This meeting is none other than the sprint planning meeting. Who will attend this meeting? The product owner, PO, then uh, Scrum Master, SM, and scrum team, scrum team, product owner, scrum master, and scrum team are going to attend this sprint planning meeting where they will decide what amount of pending work need to be assigned to this one of the sprint to come so that they can complete by the end of the sprint, okay? So what will happen in this meeting? So a lot of decisions will be taken in this sprint planning meeting, guys, okay? All these decisions will be taken based on all these factors. First, one of the factor is objective of the sprint. In this particular sprint planning meeting, this product owner, scrum master, and scrum team will decide the objective of the sprint. What is the purpose of the sprint? By the end of the sprint, what is the problem statement or what they exactly have to reach or achieve? That is the objective of the sprint, they will decide. And they will estimate the capacity of the team. What is the capacity of the team, okay? So based on the capacity of the team only, they have to assign the work, right? So they will uh, estimate the capacity of the team, okay? Then sprint duration. So as I already mentioned, guys, every sprint will have some duration according to project to project. Every project will have its own sprint duration. Most of the projects have two weeks, that is 10 working as a duration, okay? What is the sprint duration? Based on this, decisions will be taken. And what else uh, based on the decisions will be taken in this uh, sprint planning meeting is, how much work need to be completed in this sprint? Those decisions will be taken based on all these factors, guys, okay? Then pending backlog items, how, how much, uh, Work is pending, okay? What, what is the pending backlogs? Okay, and which which work need to be worked on next? Based on the priority, they will decide this much work need to be done next, okay? Pending backlog items, that is user stories, which are there in the backlog, that the requirements that, uh, that are in the form of user story in the product backlog, which need to be worked on next, also will be taken into consideration. Then estimating the user stories. Whatever the work they will decide to do next, right? Immediately next, right? That stories, uh, they will estimate guys, based on some story points, they will give some estimates, okay? So you see, if someone asks you like, what is the 
estimated distance between your location to your friend's location or friend's home or something or your home to railway station or bus stand you approximately say that okay it is around like 3 kilometers 3.5 kilometers on the average you will tell right similarly here these user stories which need to be worked on next also need to be estimated at a high level guys okay this much points this much story points this user stories are so estimations also so before attending this meeting only before attending this print planning meeting only uh, the product owner scrum master and scrum team need to be come up with they have to come up with their store estimates on the proposed stories okay before the meeting starts only they have to be ready with the estimates then they can discuss on this estimates whether they are okay or not uh, whether everyone is on the same page or not regarding the estimates of the user stories they will discuss in the meeting then next one is velocity the speed at which the team is working so uh, they will collect calculate the velocity based on the previous sprints guys okay the team may have already worked based on the previous sprints they have got some idea of how much speed the team is working on based on the velocity they have to assign the work to the sprint okay so they should not overburden the team right uh, whatever the speed is there what is the capacity of the team what is the duration of the sprint based on all this they will decide like what is the pending work to be assigned okay what is the objective of the sprint based on all these things they will okay based on the estimates and all they will uh, and based on the velocity they will decide what work need to be assigned and how much work they have to do uh, by the end of the sprint they will decide once all these decisions were taken and uh, work is assigned to the sprint that the, the complete team that is product owner scrum master and scrum team need to confirm and agree okay whatever the discussed work that is assigned to the sprint that is going to be assigned to the sprint or allocated to uh, allocated to the sprint for uh, working by everyone right the team has to accept uh, the scrum scrum team has to accept this okay confirm and accept um, confirm and agree on this work then only the product owner can uh, take a decision of moving this whatever the proposed work which is estimated right that proposed work will be moved from the product backlog to the sprint backlog okay here at the end of this meeting the product owner will get an idea like uh, what work the team has accepted or confirmed okay that confirmed work can be assigned to the sprint by moving the work from product backlog to which backlog after moving the work from product backlog backlog to sprint backlog there is another thing known as sprint backlog okay just to assign the work from the work to the sprint uh, the product owner has to move the required uh, the accepted user stories from the product backlog to the sprint backlog once the stories got moved from the product backlog to sprint backlog the team can start working on this sprint backlog mood items okay so and by the end of this uh, sprint they have to complete guys okay by the end of the sprint that is if it is two weeks that is 10 working days the work has to be completed as per the estimate estimations done in the sprint planning meeting so hope guys you understood what is sprint planning meeting in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye